What's up YouTube, Mitch Lamassi here, and today we're going to be continuing our Bone Necro run through Nightmare. This is where we're going to be picking up our White Wand. Pray for good luck there and that the Io and Dalrune don't take forever. Um, so yeah, we'll be getting in that, grabbing that, and then uh, moving forward, hopefully crushing some dudes. And yeah, let's dive into... Our Necromancer right now, he's level 29. Again, you can totally have a higher level Necro at this Good point. Day. I would even probably recommend being at least a few more levels, you know, spend a little bit more time in normal leveling. But not a big deal as we will be spending a lot of time here um, in Nightmare running around killing some dudes. Uh, one thing to note, I'm using oh, this one to Bone Spear me. wand still, but you can see my resistances are not great. If you want, and I'll actually go through a little bit. I'll do a recap of this. If you want, go back to normal, go to Act 2, and shop over and over for a 3 open socket shield, and then put Ralort Tal in it, and make yourself a uh, Ancient's Pledge for additional resistances. Can be great if you don't have a really nice head. Mine's not even that great, so I totally could do it. Um, if this was hardcore, I'd 100% do that. But just an option. Otherwise, the gear I have, I have this two to bone spear wand here. I also have the one that I'm going to be using for the white wand. Um, I have just two to mana for kill and 30 fire res, 25 MF right here, stealth, really just some magic find, a little light res and half freeze duration, fire res, nothing, FCR light res and a little MF, and then some boots that we just found until they break right here. And we have our telly staff, of course. And that's all the gear, that's all of that. And here is our skill build. So currently just a maxed bone spear. Oh, hello and good luck with the there. runs. Thank you, I win. Thank you, Punk. Remember, you can go players oh. eight, players Making one. Making a fury druid for the first time yesterday. The first two random rune drops were I.O. then Dahl in the Bloodmore Nightmare. G.L. Llama. In the Bloodmore? You can get Io Rune in the Bloodmore. Maybe from a boss pack or something. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, it's a, the Leaf Helmet. It's pretty funny because, you know, like obviously Tear Ral is Leaf Rune Word, which you, you put in a staff, and it's fantastic for certain characters. But it's also just two really great runes for playing through. So. Kind of funny. Ah, thank you, Brian. We definitely try. We try to make it a, an enjoyable experience. Ooh. Players eight might be a little difficult. I really don't want to fight those guys right now. So if players 8 is too hard to start, you can always go down to players 1, players 3, whatever you want in between, and see uh, how it goes. We'll go more Bone Spear. We can also put on our Bone Armor. So it's a little tough. Again, this is because I did not get those few additional levels that I talked about. Love stacking me up for killing thirsty casters. It's great. If you can just get like, yeah, a couple tier runes in some places, or even if you pick it up in some other ways, you know, get a weapon with like five mana per kill or some rings with a couple. It's just, it's just so nice. All of a sudden, Especially once you start killing a little faster than this, because this is, you know, pretty slow. You just never have mana issues again. Politics stream this is not. Here is the politics of this stream. Go vote if you're in the United States. It is voting election day. If you have not voted, go vote. If you're not registered to vote, Check to see if your state allows you to register there. I live in Texas, they do not. But there are states where you can actually just go register to vote right at the uh, voting polls. So 
Oh, you know what I just remembered? We have a razor switch. We were gonna debate it. A little bit less damage, but a lot more fun. Let's do it. Big res on the razor switch. And you get style points, all of the additional mana, 175 to mana, 80 to life, one dollar skills, 30 FCR. And honestly, the magic damage reduced by 15 is really big. That's a lot of uh, damage reduction. That's every time you get hit with a magic attack or any, any attack that's, you know, elemental there. It's taking 15 less. So, adds up. And we get on that next FCR breakpoint as well, which is also really cool. Cool. We'll just continue with Vitality. And Bone Spear. Oh, that's nice, Druber. It also does look really cool casting. I'm kind of blown away at how cool it looks. Like, man, I wish the Necro used his staff more often. No, dead end. Is this going further out this way? How's it looking, Legacy? Pretty good as well. Is Llama RPG still happening? Llama RPG has... Of course it's still happening! We're uh, getting ready for the next. This is a really wonky underground passage. It's all backwards. Um, next alpha in maybe like two to three weeks. Try and get it out before Thanksgiving is the goal. Or no, he won't have a vacation. His vacation is canceled. Yeah, I'm. We're very pumped about it. A lot of a lot of great stuff going. Can't wait for more. There's tons of bots in resurrected. Yes. Thanks, Kerms. He was fixing bugs last week. Yeah, a lot of bug fixing and everything. It's a great boss group, lots of experience, but they're very spread out. And I do... Did not think I was going to die there. All right, we'll just uh, go back. Now and caught me by surprise. Looked Whoa. away a tiny bit, and the damage racked up quickly. Brant the man, thank you very much. All right, we're very low on gold as well. Let's uh, continue through. It's all good. Sometimes things happen. Sometimes things just happen. Having a safety TP can always be a good idea. Also, paying attention a little more can be a good idea. But, you know, we're, uh, we're kind of farming anyways a little bit. So, picked up a couple levels. We'll pick up a little bit more here. It's not, not the worst thing.
Yeah, man. There's another experience shrine. Oh, it's painful. Alright, let's go refresh it. Let's go refresh. Darn. Just got off work, finally made it. Nice, nice, nice. We're just getting started here. We just need to uh, get to the tower. That is our our main goal here. Spawn the golem, he won't do a lot. That helm is potentially dual res. Let's see which one we get. Hopefully not Milibragus. Arathas, Milibragus. Womp womp. What's up, Mariano? Boss group down here? No, just some carvers. Should I replay D2R or D2? I say get into D2R. I think it's a worthy upgrade. Need a little bit of money, so again, if you are needing gold at all, make sure that you're picking up armors. Like heavy armors. Exceptional and elite armors if you can. They will be worth an alright amount of gold. Do you have a playthrough, like a guide of after you complete the playthrough? I don't know if I have any specific guide, but I mean the general advice, yeah, if you want to work up towards your infinities, your enigmas, all those things, you know, it varies on the character. A lot of times it's going to be go farm, you know. Hell and Dario go farm Helm of Fisto until you get your Shaco, until you get your Viper Magi, kind of kind of your basics, and then work up from there. All right, we'll leave a safety TP. Your sub ran out. Oh, you need me to re up your sub. tower and our waypoint that's nice any shrines nope. the playlist does need some work like, don't like the extra fast cold enchanted So, like I say, we're going to have plenty of time in this tower. We need to find both Io and Dolrune to make white, which is Dolio, Dol Io. Um, for that, you're going to get have Dolrune is probably like 1 in 10, 1 in 11. But Io Rune is a 4% chance. So, 1 in 20 chance. So that one usually takes a little bit longer to get. 
So again, this is where you will get more levels. Thankfully, you can spend a lot of time in the tower, especially if you're on players 8 like we are now. Uh, you can run the tower, you know, until you're mid-40s before the experience starts to really drop off. So it gives you a lot of time to, to be able to do that stuff. YouTube, just remember the order of the runes is crucial. It goes IO doll. In that order. Doll IO. Don't. Don't mess with everybody. Do not listen to them. Rare antlers and a chip topaz. Money potential on those. And a bone spear. And yes, as always, do not forget to switch back to players one before lightning enchanted, cold enchanted. You know, I'm just going to leave that boss group. Then we get to switch back to players one before you get to the end here and fight the Countess and kill her. Otherwise, you will not get very many runes. <laughs> Brave Sir Llama ran away. Yes. Came at me. The runes are Dole and then Io. Am tier town. Great drop if I was uh, trying to make a spirit. Also, that is literally Edgebow. Tier Tal Am. So that's pretty funny that we found Edgebow all the way through. One to Barb skill, darn. Okay, I will keep 33 to mana on a Grand Charm right now, just because it's pretty nice. We'll also look for a new belt. Mm, nothing amazing. I always like to look at gloves, boots, belts whenever I'm here. Uh, you can just get a lot of really nice stuff. And we'll put our gold away. We'll go back to players eight. Put the points again into Bone Spear. And Vitality. Yes. Pl oh, yes. Players won for killing oh, Hell Countess. Beware. And we'll grab some armors for money. The reason is because it will get you more runes that way. This is the only boss in the game that you want to kill on players one to get more runes or more anything. Because she has a, her rune drop is a special drop that occurs after her regular drops. So if she drops too many items from her regular drops, then her rune drops will not drop more than one rune. Now, if you want more keys from the Countess, you'll still want to be on a higher player count, so... Debate if you're trying to kill her for runes or keys when deciding, but I got lots of things for a Yodi. Not really many boss groups, but again, that's okay. We'll go down to players one. The uh Main reason we're here is to find Dol and Io. We'll have, we should have plenty of runs to do so. So I'm not super worried about not getting champion archers here. Not super worried about 
not getting all the experience immediately, you know. Hello, how are you? And here you can see I spawned them on players 8, which is why they're tough, but that is okay so long as I kill the Countess while I have players 1 set. Thol Ort. Cool, so we're just gonna literally find Spirit in two runs. All the speed runs that I wanna find Spirit super fast, no. Instead we find Spirit immediately here. That's crazy. Garbage. Almost 35, we'll go back to players 8. All Rinse and repeat. Pretty nice tower. Where? I'm not playing Monopoly, what is this? Yes, we have uh, the sponsor of the month. This month. We just finished up our other one. Thank you to everybody who participated in the Call of Dragons one. But the sponsor of this month is Monopoly Go. Excl exclamation mark Monopoly go right there if you uh, pick it up jam around on it just click some buttons honestly seems like a decently fun game I played a tiny bit I'm like yeah I could see myself enjoying this a little bit and play through boards the more boards you play through the more that they pay me pretty simple setup so while you're chilling watching, if you got nothing else going on and you want to just uh, hit the roll button, roll, build, roll, build, and all I was doing there to, for a bit. It's a great way to support the stream for free. And you don't have to sign up with Facebook or anything like that. It'll, it'll be like, hey, do you want to? You don't have to. You can just play as guest. So it's exclamation mark Monopoly Go, but honestly, if a mod can just copy paste it over to Monopoly as well and make that a command too, that'd be that'd be great. So shout out to everybody who. Uh, that in those small ways. Is that how you do it? The list of goals are uh okay, players one. <laughs> Player to completing board two, which is New York. That one takes like three minutes or something. Completing board seven, 18, 31, 41, 55, and 70. I believe if you buy the $20 pack, then they give me all the cash from that one. So if you want to donate to the channel, that could be a way to donate to the channel through that. And then you get more of the, uh, I can't carry anymore. whatever you call it, rolls and whatever things. Anyways, let's just continue to kill some dudes, get some more experience. Continue leveling up. Like I said, you see me using my golem a little bit. Again, it's not a massive deal because the golem will die quickly, but Mr. it can Lama be C. a small help. 
right? In that, like, oh, he stops and he tries to hit a couple of times. And that's enough, you know. Chewy, brood, thank you guys. So again, make sure we're on players one. Yeah, I might try and Nox play through in the future sometime. It's definitely on my radar. And Shale, Thol, Thol. These are like fantastic rune drops we're getting right now. Also, with Shale rune, it opens up... Um, we, we can make... There's a few things we can make. But it opens up Rhyme Shield as a possibility. So if you have a nice two open socket necro head or a white necro head that you you know could make get two two sockets in, you could put Shaleth, get the res, the can't be frozen, the MF, all that stuff. Um, and it's a nice way to keep your like bone spear going there. Uh some decent res and a chance for that, but not really for us. Again, just trying to kind of pick up some money here because teleport charges can be expensive. And we'll continue vitality and bone spear. Same, same. Botarde. The desync get fixed for hammerdens. I mean the charge desync bug. Oh wait, we gotta go to players eight. Fun. More fifteen RS, but has that Chipotle sponsorship coming along? You know it's ridiculous. I've seen Chipotle do. Well, there's PvP Hammerdens will use charging to desync the game. I'm I'm not sure in D2R if it's still around or not. Interesting, punk. IP is blocked. What'd you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's still around, to be honest, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe not. Because I know they made some changes, too. Every time I explode, I think of the stream. See? I've seen Chipotle give... Like, they gave a sponsor to... Ninja, like, all, you know, forever, lifetime, free burrito card and stuff. They've given so many sponsors. But they really just go after the big fish with them. They really just want, like, the big, big streamers, so. Super annoying, because I've also seen people that don't even care about Chipotle. Who are doing the sponsors, and I'm like. I was... I was eating it five times a week. Do I play online at all? Not a ton, but I mean sometimes. You know, I've I've done first ninety nine. Season one, I was second level ninety nine. Season two, I was first level ninety nine. Season three, I made a level ninety nine. I think it was like a hundredth. I wasn't rushing it. Um. You know, and then I always do, like, first uber kills and stuff. Players one. Right kind of it. That's also true, Paladine. I'm a too small. Yeah. Yeah, Chipotle's marketing really only went after the, like, million follower plus bases. Am I getting one point in the utility curses? So you always have the option, if you want, to do something like that. I actually don't feel like that's as important. Again, you can. But I'll be using Bone Prison later on, and that's just so good that I don't feel like I need to really do anything else. So I'll show you guys when we get to that, which will be essentially right after we get Io Dole. Uh, Tal, Shale, or Unfortunate. Again, pretty good rune drops, but not the ones we need yet. However, you can see our killing potential is increasing. Greetings. Darn. That rare ring is uh, not very good. That's not that great either. Hmm. 
Nothing really worth anything. We'll keep going. You can see that we're killing things a lot better now. So all who oppose me. Beware. That will just continue. We're level 37. Vitality and bone spear. And it's just a lot of positioning, you know? We found a razor switch, which it's not that much of a difference or an improvement over what we were using. I do like all the additional mana it gives. But like, for example, there's a mummified head right there, trophy, and I definitely want to grab that because that's one of those items that it could be like three to bone spear, two open socket, and then boom, we jam Shaleth in there, Sh Shale, you know, Shale rune, Shaleth in there, <sighs> two to fire golem, so close. Had the two open socket too. That one hurt. Extra strong multi shot. That one hurt a little bit. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go back and take them on. Painful. We're dying too much right now. I'm, I'm playing too sloppy. Need to focus more. I know, right? It's messed up, Dark. Collapse like DAC? Okay. You leave DAC and the Cowboys alone. Aren't, aren't they going through enough? Ridiculous. The reason I went back is I wanted to get all my gold. <laughs> 67,000 on the ground there. Leave him alone like Jerry did all summer. Come on, man. enough pain all right and so now we've hit the point where bone spear is maxed out so I'm actually going to start putting points into bone prison This there and bone prison. And bone prison is just a great way to lock everything up. I'll show that in a second here. Let me just kind of clear out some of the basics. You just come in. Lock them up. Now, something that is very important to note about Bone Prison it has a huge aggro. So it's going to attract mobs from all over the place to come in and fight. So oftentimes, when you put one up, you have to put the second and the third and continuing. It's not worth it to get tanky Merce. I mean, right now a tanky Merce is just getting slaughtered.
sure we're on players one. And let's kill. FTA, thank you for completing the New York board and uh, exclamation mark Monopoly Go. Appreciate that. The first person to get there. It's a race. It's a race. More runes. Still none of the ones we really want. Spamming that go button. Appreciate it. You really can just sit there and spam the go button and then spam the the build. Scapella, thank you. For 38 months. And thank you to the someone who also just completed me, New York board. Beware. It's so confusing having the staff right now because every time I'm like, oh no, I have my telly staff on. So bone prison right now is just like a small amount of time that it helps. Later on, it will be everything. We're gonna be using it just all over the place. Boots being red would drive you nuts. All right. They're ethereal boots, so they finally hit their breaking point. All right, so we are on the lookout for new boots, and we're also level 38, so shopping boots honestly seems like a pretty good idea. This is also one of those spots where bone prisoning can be really nice. Now, ghosts do not get stuck from the bone prisons, just as a heads up. But it does stop the archer packs back there, so. Hello, Denali. Eh, I'll leave it. Okay, go to players one. Continue to buff up Bone Prison there. Continue searching for Iodol. Now remember, you can also cube runes. Three Hell runes will make that Io, so unfortunately we don't have any Hell runes. But it's also something to note in case you are finding a lot of Hell runes, but not any of the others. Right? I can't carry any. There you go there. How are we sleeping? Sleeping? Who's sleeping? Not me. Okay, just a full rune. I hope I went down to players one for that. I think I did. I from Russia, Privet. Uh, 39 mana, 16 cold res. Kind of like the fire res, but right now, I'll take the mana. Okay. I found a plus two spear wand, and I was good enough with that. There's a belt. So you can always shop a 60 or whatever, just a life belt down here. Um, so I always recommend... You know, you can just go in and out of town a few times if you really want to get it. But really, really nice, easy way to do that. Who oppose me. We will continue Beware. with points into vitality. Perfect, thank you, Apple. You found a nice three to spear. That's good. Yeah, I mean, again, we shopped a plus two. We could have spent a while to shop a plus three, but I was, I'm happy enough with the plus to two. We're on players one, by the way. That's why we're crushing everything at the moment. 
Up to level 39. Still none of the runes is a little sad, but again, like I said, this can take a little bit of time. This is this is probably the hardest playthrough in terms of desired runes from Nightmare. I'm gonna have the most What's new? This guy did as to the previous. We're updating it for D2R. We didn't uh, do a Bone Necro D2R yet. But also, it is a little different in how we start out the build. So, there's a 2 open socket for lore. I think we actually have another 2 open socket for lore, but in case we wanted yet another one. Light plate. And almost 40. We'll go players one. But drink is good for gaming. Either water or balls energy drinks. Those are the two things I would uh, drink. And we'll continue with Bone Prison. And remember, every point in Bone Prison does three things for us. Number one, it's another synergy point for Bone Spear, increasing our Bone Spear damage. Number two, it increases our Bone Prison damage. And number three, it's another synergy for Bone Armor, so it increases our Bone Armor as well. So really increasing those is uh, really nice and worth a lot. If Get shells and cows and cubed a doll. Yeah, this isn't a great cows character. I mean, it's like okay right now, but I voted llama party straight down the line. Don't blame me. I appreciate it. I had a sharpie wrote in a vote for Mr. Llama. I see. Thank you guys. All who oppose me. How old am I? I'm old. Players eight. Yep. Go to the local gaming spot, sit down, buy a couple balls, and uh, play some Counter-Strike Source. I have one official vote for president. Let's go! I'm not gonna lie, they were short-lived, and not like a crazy thing, but land centers were like the coolest things ever. That was like just the best time. I'm really sad that uh, my kids won't be growing up with those. There is an Unraveler head. At the end of the day, all Necro builds just boil down to CE. I mean, I'm not really using Corpse Explosion yet, so... So far, not much at all. MXS, thank you very much for the sub. My friend owned the land center, couldn't figure out the economics and closed in six months. Yeah, that's the thing is, I'm not sure economically if they made enough sense. I mean, some of them were able to stay open. Old blue bottle with the dots on it. You know, ribbed for your hand's pleasure of drinking. Good old balls. It was very grippy. Oh, I 
don't love being cursed. Whenever you're cursed and there's like a flood of arrows or mobs coming at you, death can uh, usually be right around the corner. I'm just gonna, we'll leave it, we'll move forward. Let's go kill the Countess. Let's get a, an IO rune, huh? We can work on making Dull rune. I think we might even be able to make it already, so. Double check. Naftir. Alright, we got a Nadir. Not what we were looking for. A lot of runes in there. Ah, oh, darn. What can I do for you? 43 to life, but 11 fire res. Tempting, but I'll keep my 60 to life for now. Southeast Asia, they're still popular. Whoa. Cheers, buddy. Like I say, they're definitely still popular in some places. Thank you, Six Wall Dog. I mean, I think it's definitely no longer a thing of the times in places where now everybody has computers and consoles at home and games really aren't set up for lands as much anymore and you know it's it's a different time in the world for many places but you know like in Korea there definitely were still some you know it was a place where you know a lot of people would go but they'd go there and game online it was less like LAN and more online gaming Swajan thank you very much for the Prime sub reminding everybody in chat they may have a Twitch Prime subscription available If you're sitting at home and you're thinking, hmm, how can I support Baby and Dario, the new addition to the family? One, you can check for your Prime sub. Two, you can download exclamation mark Monopoly Go. And you can just spam the roll button and build the buildings. And, uh... It's, uh, you know, when, it, when you complete New York, the first one, again, takes like four minutes, maybe. They pay me basically like a sub. Every person who does that is another uh, sub. I'm actually going to check this longsword here. Oh, if it was four socket, we could have debated just making a temporary spirit. Oh, no, I'm going to die. Oof. This one. I don't like curse. Yeah, every percent is worth so much more. That's why it's so so important and valuable. I'm also at the point where I'm gonna start running rejuves. Generally I start this when I get into nightmare. I'm a little later on at this time. It is conduit. It ends up being a lot of damage. Is that a quarter staff? Nice rice then. Set up some prisons. And go down to player's one. Now, the nice thing is, if we do pick up a bunch of our levels in the tower here, we don't have to pick up nearly as many later on. Darn. Grab the 
headdress. No hell runes is uh, more bothersome almost to me. Because it's like, if we could at least be getting he hell runes along the way, I'd be like, well, we're kind of making progress towards it. Alright, 19 to light res. It's not bad, but not quite worth enough for us. Let's put a little gold away. Someone else just finished New York and exclamation mark Monopoly Go. Thank you so much for the sub money. More diapies for baby. That's like all who oppose me, beware. Probably a, over probably a day's worth of diapers for baby and Dario. Simple as that. No time at all. Appreciate it. Oh man, playing Dota in the internet cafes. That was like the later. Like early on it was like I'd go play StarCraft, play Diablo, play Counter-Strike. Just voted. Let's go. GG. Great job. Another point in Bone Prison, more vitality. Nothing changing here. Every day waiting for that Paul Chion guy to play through. But like, I play with Paul and guide him. Be fun. I actually do have to answer. He texted me better. And someone else just hit board two. Thank you very much. All of you. I live in Dallas. Isn't Death Web found in the pits? It can be. I mean, it can be found in more than just the pits, but that is a place it can be found. Ah, oh, thank God they set up the alias for Monopoly. Players one. Your blood will boil. Come on, Io Rune. If you're watching on the YouTube, you can uh, always skip ahead. If you feel like, if you already have your runes, you're like, hey, what are we doing here? Your farm world stone keeper just made such bits yellow bale. Uh, an LOD. I'm probably not farming much of world stone. I mean, the World Stone Keep levels 1, 2, 3. Level 1 is actually pretty good for farming. I'm not going to lie. So. Good to see you. Can be worth. I'm trying to think if I'll ever want Saigons. I don't think so. Alright. Let's get our gold. Now we can come over here and we can also start clearing out some runes. I like to save usually like one of each of the lower runes and then I'll keep everything kind of RAL and above, but maybe we'll get rid of many of these. We can also get rid of these and these, I guess I'll put that back for now, and this. I'll save that. And honestly, we don't need all these. Well, we can save those for 
some fun. Okay. Sorted Relic, thank you very much for the reset. Okay. Go there. You're here. Now we will take out... Rejuice. And just make some full rejuice. Which can always just be super helpful to have in late Nightmare in Hell. Perfect. Players eight, and we'll continue forward. We have a lot of gold now, which is really nice. Gold will oppose me. I always there. like having a lot of gold. It's one of those things, especially with tele charges, where it's like it just makes it so if you want, you can just go. Telly, tell it, you know, just like tele teleport past everything really fast. And speed it up. Which I may end up having to do here. We might have to start going more and more on telly if uh, we go a few more runs and still get nothing. We're looking for white wand. My gloves, though. Ain't nothing good there. To make all build orders look fun. All build orders are fun in their own ways, you know. I think that's the thing. It's like I need so many of them really are a good time. But knowing how to play them is a very important key, you know. Go down to players one. Like if you try and play it not in a great way, it can be worse, you know. Some builds are pretty easy to, to go through, but many need a little bit of help to make them fun. I was first level 99 Amazon season one of PD2. I haven't played a ton since then though. Felt like I played through it, had a, had a good time. It would be fun to play a little more and try some more of it, but I also got to try out Reimagined mod. I also have to go try some other things. Ram. Yeesh. The Amarins are all over the place. Hey, 11 to life. Perfect. How about using rare curses? I mean, we could use Confuse, Attract, Dim Vision, you know, some of those, but... The thing is, for many builds, including this one, and it's not every build, I feel like honestly in the later, the last build we did, with the revives and stuff, that one doesn't really care a lot about too many skill points. Um, so the Thorns Necro wasn't too bad. But, for this one, it's, uh, you really, all, all your points are more damage, right? Every point that you that you aren't getting, you're sacrificing damage. And it can be pretty rough. 
So I really want to be increasing my damage. Like I'm getting so much value out of every point in Bone Prison right now for increasing my Bone Prison, or increasing my uh, Bone Armor, my Bone Prison, my Bone Spear damage. I want more points to go into Corpse Explosion later on. Like, so many things I, I really want. Let's see. Hirons can be pretty rough to farm for, yes. Okay, come on, baby. All right, we got a hell rune. We got a a hell rune. One third of the way there, chat. I guess one fourth because we also need a chip diamond, but you know, like, that's fine. Also, some 20 fast for unlock boots with 8% fire res. We can actually go shop something better than that pretty easily. Um, I like to go to Jeed for it, but you can really look anywhere. Or, you know, Elsix in Act 2 of Nightmare. Good day. And 37 to life, but it's a Demonite Sash, which gets us another belt slot. So I will go ahead and make the swap on it. What you need. Where's all the boots at, man? Hello. 30 fast run walks. Honestly, worth it. We'll take the 30s for now. Greetings. Okay, go back to players eight. Level 43. Shout out to the someone who just reached board two in exclamation mark Monopoly. Thank you very much. For the day of diapies for Endariel. Thinking about cubing Dull. It's three shales to get to Dull, so it is uh, a debate. If we don't find what we need, that will probably be it. If I could add an item to Detour, what kind of item would it be? Um, probably... I don't know. I'd, I'd add a few different ones. I'd want to add more, like, mid-game... Um, weapons for, like, melee characters. I think that would be nice. I think it'd be cool to add like an, a, a unique enigma, or a unique, um, not enigma, like unique Archon plate. This is a non-modded version of the game. This is game as is. Obsession is the end game staff actually worth using sometimes, so that one kind of got added last time. Maybe another shield that could be worth using that's not just spirit for casters. And make sure again we're players one. Shout out to the other person who just reached level two in Exhibition Mark Monopoly and a second hell rune. Alright, baby, we're working it. We're working it. Now, three dolls makes hell, if I'm not mistaken, so that one we're not going to keep up towards. Unless we get a double doll rune drop here or something. Better drops of runes on players one, yes. Multiple low-level items that give teleport and convenient skills early on in 
reimagined. Yeah, I mean, I don't love that. I actually do think some of those things should remain pretty tucked away behind, like, super rare items. Like, I saw the boots that gave teleport, and they're kind of insane. They're like, and they also gave, like, battle orders, battle cry. It was, like, all these things. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. So, I don't love some of those choices. I agree. More uniques for the, the items that don't have them, though, would be fun. Recommended Claw for Mosaic is Phoenix Strike plus Blades of Ice. Uh, Claws of Thunder and Phoenix Strike. I mean, you can get the triple, right? So you could go Blades of Ice, Claws of Thunder, Phoenix Strike. That'd be your best 3-3-3 three, three, three there. Yeah, the Claws of Thunder damage is just so nasty good. Players one. But like any Phoenix is good, so if it has Phoenix Strike and Blade, you know, like, it's still great. Honestly, Claws of Thunder is probably the most important, though. Most of your damage comes there, and I guess Phoenix Strike, too. I'd have to look again and see which one. You want the good, good? Alright. They're so cheap to make that that's the nice thing. You can just make Phoenix in what you have and then do it again, you know? Eth, Eth, Shale. Okay, well, that gets us. That gets us our Dull Rune from Triple Shale. Shale, Shale. Where's the third one? Shale. And all these additional runes are money and do give us some like potential for something. So, how many subs for Hom Three playthrough? Hom Three playthrough. How many subs? Uh, I mean, I guess uh, you know if we can get a thousand by the end of the month. How's that sound? All who oppose me, beware. So the best bond meet ever. Mm. Yeah, I like PD2 a lot. It was very fun. It's definitely power crept a ton. For a uh, Heroes of Might and Magic playthrough. Bon, is that German? Vietnamese. Bon mi. It's a sandwich. Is the campaign super long? Oh. I don't know. I've, I've never touched the game in my life. Yeah, I guess... B A H N is German. B A N H is the enemies. I know, Solchris, right? It only takes 12 months? What? Alright, well, we will play a little bit of Heroes of Light and Magic then. Thank you, Dabaddy! For reaching board number two and exclamation mark monopoly and gifting baby and Dariel another day's worth of diapies girls throat goes through so many diapies it's crazy you made that up I don't know I haven't played this game before One more hell or an Io rune. 
We got the doll room. Okay. After we got the three. Jeez, Jetty. After we get the three shales, we just get the doll room straight up. Cool, 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 cool. More vitality. I told you guys, this could just take, like, hours. It's, it's kind of silly, but... This uh, used to be before the speedrun strategies changed from white into the thorns necro. This used to be the biggest run killer ever. Just not getting white at all. Like, this would be a speedrun reset completely. Yep, no, uh. Here's the might magic for me. Was that the end of the Monopoly for my benefit? No. You can go all the way up to board 70 if you want. Which. Getting to board 70, I'm sure, would take a very long time. You know. This sponsor will run for 17 days, I believe. So. You know. Do as much or little as you want. But the first one, hey. Pretty easy to uh, reach board number two. And then board number seven is the next one. I imagine that one could be done in like an hour or two. And then it goes to 18 and 31, and I have no clue how long it'll take for this, but. Alright, Hell Io, Hell Io, let's go. Don't bone this necro, okay. Can one complete Hell with Double Spirit? Look, I don't need the white wand, Spirit does work but it's such a boost and I'm not speed running like we're doing a guided playthrough so Talthal so it's like you know it makes sense to really try and get it I've got a plus two bone spear white or, or wand right now Let's... Viper Magi would be a pretty sick drop. I'd be happy with that one. I'd love some, like, Nats boots or, you know, water walks or, you know, one of the nice booties. Um... I don't really have good gloves, so I'd be open to just dropping even something basic like Blood Fist, but getting like a Mage Fist or Trang's gloves would be really nice. get excited for insane drops that don't help this particular run yeah i always get excited just like dropping cool things even if they don't uh aren't for this run whatever it's just it's always interesting even if it's not a good item, but if it's like a rare item, Merkin, thank you very much for the prime sub, you know? Like if I dropped Hand of Brock right now, it'd be like really cool, because like you just don't drop Hand of Brock very often here. Good luck, Mr. Llama. Here it is. Anti-killer, thank you so much. Another Prime sub, much appreciated. Good day. 
Base one. Love it, Oblique. Grow a mullet. I had a mullet a couple times in my life. High school, you know. Sounds good to Batty. Let me know how it goes. I, I, I'm curious to know what, uh, what it looks like. From the time scene. How expensive are diapers? They vary based on the diaper. But generally they're looking probably around 30 cents a diaper. Moogirl wants the more envi environmentally friendly one, so ours are like 55, 60 cents a diaper. <laughs> Sticky Mini, thank you very much. Appreciate the sub. And Yulian, thank you for reaching board two in exclamation mark Monopoly there. Another day of diapers. Poor baby Lilith. Most environment mentally friendly would be reusable slash, slash cloth. Yeah, but... Uh, I just can't do it. I can't do the cloth diaper. I don't know. I'm sorry. I have a hard enough time just changing the regular diapers and I'm an unethical human. All right, there's a soul rune. Come on, me. All right, let's go ahead and make our Ort Soul. So we make our Lore Helm, plus one to skills, 10 energy, 30 light res, two mana per kill, some damage reduction. Pretty nice. Greetings. Full Trang set with Bone Spear is not great. I'm actually going to buy these 25 fire res gloves. We'll just hold them for now, but we can save those for later a little bit. Um, the reason is the frames are so bad. It is so terribly slow, yeah. it's awful. What you actually want to do with full trangs is run poison necro. And it's not as good as if you had, uh, you know, all of the sweet GG an earth wand and you know, whatever, but it is good enough. And doesn't need the crazy More FCR diapers. frames. From Daddy Bezos. Wow, thank you, Dodo, for uh, gifting me more diapers from the Bezos. Appreciate it. Justin. Spirit again is okay, but the thing is, I'm really like Bone Spear is what I'm using, you know? So all the other plus skills, yeah, it's nice. But really, it's Bone Spear, and Bone Spear's damage is kind of weak. Like three days worth of diapers? You seem to underestimate how many diapers baby uses. Now that we're at three weeks old, my baby probably goes through like 12 to 14 diapers a day. She was over 20, you know, the first couple weeks. Yeah. 
Shale Thal Am. This is this is a nightmare. That's at least a diaper prior awake. Yeah. Newborns in the first like week go through so many diapers. All who oppose me. And the thing is you'll change the diaper and then they'll need a new diaper. Immediately after. Like, there were multiple times where as soon as I finished changing her, she'd just go to the bathroom again. You are overfeeding that baby? That baby was like five and a half pounds. Hell rude! Let's go! Oh, praise. And that's why we love the little, uh, just getting, you know, collect the hells, right? Viking Gen, thank you very much for the prime sub. Rare Amy, maybe. Two two lightning skills. A little less MF, but some nice cold res. Darn, if that was Necro, that'd be really, really nice. Okay, so we need a chipped diamond. So my favorite place to actually go for this first, I'm gonna go here to the Black Marsh, and I'm just gonna oh, finish through and go get the Outer Cloister. We're level 46, which is insane. But again, that's that's about as long as you're going to spend down there. I don't, Sailor, but you could. Is Bone Spirit ever a good spell outside PvP? I mean, it's still a one of the best spells for the necro there but it is a little weak you know this place has the stench of demons about it two hour tower yeah i mean it's thankfully youtube can fast forward you know okay so now we go back to normal and there's a few different places that you can go farm chip gems you can go to cows if you have that. You can go to uh, make sure your players eight. You can go to the Taurasha's tombs. You can go to the lower Kuras. My favorite place is just popping all of the chest down here. Chipped emerald, chipped ruby. We need a chipped diamond. It's locked. Getting keys would probably be smart. Mm -hmm. Chipped emerald again. There's just so many chests down here, and I like that you're only getting chips really out of them, so. If you go to the LK, you know, you'll get like higher quality gems. Oh my god, I don't have male pattern baldness. Now you can also, if you have some super chest, which you may have in your like blood more, your stony field, you can go run and pop those a few times if they're like right next to your waypoints. Cold plains. So having like the house with the super chest can be really nice. And 
So far, doesn't look like anything there. We'll try going the other way with it. And see what we can get. Lots of luscious hair. Oops. Level three. We could also go kill and Dariel in Nightmare and she drops two chip gems. So. It's possible. It's possible we could have just done that first to see if she would have given it to us. my chips at annoying I'm getting any Poppables. Counting work. Okay, hey, gold dagger. Kinda fun. Kind of a fun one. could be useful later on for some magic finding if we wanted, so love keeping that. More vitality. And I actually need to repair really fast. Good day. Oh, baby and Dario's normal, you know. She's she's just barely level one. If even. Still so fresh. Ship diamond, let's go. All right. Nice and easy. And I actually need to go back one more time. Hi, Arun. Yes. Okay, so now we look and see. We don't really need a lot of strength, actually. Like, I'd be fine with 25 strength. But, again, I'm going to go ahead and go at least to 35, maybe more. I'm going to go to 47, because that's a kite shield. Um, Mana-wise, I have mana from some items. I'm going to put 15 energy in right now because I'm going to be dropping this, and that's a big shift. And then we'll go rest into vitality. Now, for our respec, we're going to go max bone spear. We don't need anything in the summon tree. I will grab eh, three points. Seems good for amp damage right there. I like having just like a slightly bigger amp. And max bone prison. And I'll put a point in corpse explosion and we can actually start putting a few more points into corpse explosion here. Um, and can kind of back bounce back and forth between bone wall and corpse explosion. Uh, we're in normal. 11 into amp, that's way too big. And we'll take our bone wand. Now remember, the wand that you're putting here needs to be a wand that can get two sockets. It should also be white because we want it 
to become a two open socket socketable rune word for that and then it's dull first io second and what do we get a beautiful white one that gives three to pmb skills so that is three to bone spear three to corpse explosion three to bone armor three to bone prison right all of those 20 fcr four to bone spear because two and then i had the two as well three to bone armor so that's six to bone armor now that we get right there 10 to vitality 13 to mana a little bit of magic damage reduced it is uh pretty nasty good pretty nasty good and just a really big damage boost i mean look at that 596 to 894 huge damage buff plus now yeah seven overall to bone spear six overall to corpse explosion i mean uh three overall to corpse explosion six overall to bone armor and now we'll shop a three socket shield we'll get ral or tal And make Ancient's Pledge so we can get 43 all res, you know, 48 on the others right there. Yeah, I shopped that wand in Act 2 of Normal. So if you don't have your wand yet, you can go to Act 2 of Normal right now and just go in and out talking with uh, Drognan there. Now that we have that, we can just go forward. And honestly, at level 46, I, I don't even need to kill anything. Like, I could just go straight forward to hell at this point if I wanted. So we'll be, uh, we'll be moving, moving and grooving here. Now, obviously, I still can kill things. And I will still get some experience for doing so. But the amount of experience is definitely uh, low right now. And I'll go ahead and put a few more into Corpse Explosion. Because it really does start to take over as a super nice skill. And we've got, ah, you know, solid bone spear damage. Yeah, we could always like keep the gold dagger in our cube as well if we want and just use that for Endariel. Wow, someone reached board number five in exclamation mark Monopoly already. GG. Whatever that was, thank you. Board seven coming up. Grab the gargoyle head. Sometimes if I get like three to bone spear or something, I'll pop that on my alt there. On my swap and kind of sack the resistances for a little bit. Okay. Level two. Why don't I use a mercenary? Mercenaries are fine, but just like fine, you know? They die a lot, unless they're super tanked up. Now, at this point, I do have enough runes that I could make an insight for a mercenary, and that could actually do okay for him. I wish I had another Io rune I could make Bulwark for him as well. Necroheads can make rune words, but you're not getting above two sockets, so the most I'd get out of a Necrohead would be a, like three to Bone Spear and I'd make a Rhyme in it or something. 
So that's really all that you're making with it there. Even hate another Iora in here because I'd be like, ooh. And that is the thing, you know, with this character, like having plus to mana would be really nice. So an insight would actually go well on a mercenary for him. But he needs some way to have some lifesteal, otherwise, he's just gonna keep dying. And it's just going to be a nightmare. I'll put another point into Corpse Explosion. Again, I think at this point you can definitely debate whether you're going more Corpse Explosion or more into um, Bone Wall. I think both are completely viable options. Now, some people are going to say, why aren't you amp damaging everything all the time? Uh, amp damage is only for physical damage. So it is good for when I corpse explode. But if I'm just killing guys with my bone spears, that's not actually improving. Not helping us. Because that's ma magic damage or those, so... I'm just like so over leveling, but you know, it's okay, right? We've talked about it before. If you want to over level, you can over level, and it just makes it easier to play through the game. Corpse Explosion is a mix of physical and fire damage, so all of the physical damage that it does gets the bonus. Do you think Hodo is good for the Bone Necro? I mean, over white, you know, it's really like if you're needing res and needing the, you know, kind of those extra pieces there, it could be okay. But you're sacking a lot of damage. But, you know, I do run it sometimes in PvP. Yes, you do not need to get another source of damage. The only time you may run into issues is if you are in Act 5 doing Bale Waves and you have the Unravelers on Wave 2. If you are unable to corral amp damage and corpse explode all of them, then it can leave you with a mess. Because then killing those Unravelers can be annoying. This is where having a mercenary can be very helpful. Additionally, this is where you can drag them out. Um, and if you want to actually... Went down there accidentally on players 8, so we're going to have a high players count in Dario. We'll just leave it. But... If you want, you can always farm Nightmare and Dariel. You can get SOJs from her, which is really nice. And other good, good items. Yeah, Player's Aid and Dariel was a mistake. Now the nice thing is, you can just tee up some walls and chill. I need 
And Ariel cannot hit you. Just put your walls up again here and there. I don't have any points in Iron Maiden, but also Iron Maiden really falls off once you get out of normal. Higher player count will improve the drop chance. Yes, just because there will be more items. Yep. Thanks, Cobra. Okay, and we have a gold dagger. So we can use that to finish her off. Saigons it is. Back to the hell that spawned you, Andario. Where can I take you? And just like that, Act One of Nightmare is done. Give yourselves a clap. Not too bad. Took a little bit just because of, uh, you know, long time trying to find our IO rune. But it does have low odds and it does happen. So it's something that you have to expect, to be honest. It just is one of those things. Okay. Put those in there. Put those away. I guess we can get these out. Viserun's Defender. Source skills. Not for us, unfortunately, here. And I guess we can make sure to repair. And this is also a great place where, again, if you want to find some boots, for instance, right now, I have 30 fast run walk boots. But, you know, I want some better boots, let's say. This is where I go. And here at this level that I'm at, we can get some 40 faster run walk, 40 fire res boots or anything like that. Get some nice 30 res gloves. Thanks, Stefan Things. 30-30s. See what we pick up. <laughs> what you need? Where are all my good boots at? Hi there. And again, this is one of those things where you can spend as much or as little time as you want on it, right? Welcome to if the you want to spend 30 minutes looking for a pair of 40 fast runlock, make sure you're a high enough level. Okay. Or 30 fast run walk boots with 30 fire res or whatever, then like spend that time. If you only want to give it a couple minutes or you don't care enough, then don't. Take your time. Welcome to the desert rain. It's all personal preference. Ayo doll. Good day. Greetings. Forty cold res right there. If only they had that. And that's also a really nice belt, but it is just an ochre light belt. I want to uh have my demonite sash. Welcome to the desert rain. Good day. Dirty fasters again. Yeah, that was crazy, Waldo. Hi there. We could also try our hand at gambling some boots, to be honest, which could be fun. I have a decent amount of gold. Let's see how much it would cost. Okay. Let's gamble for a pair of rare boots. Oh my god. 
bad. Alright, that'll work. 10 faster run walk only, but we get 37 cold res and 6 light res. Not bad. A little bit slower. But uh, dual res, quite nice. Get it rang. Also have freeze duration on it, which is nice. So, you know, I could have found better. I could have, again, found some 30-40s, 40-40s, whatever. But uh, that's a pretty decent find. I'm pretty happy with it. A lot of times you can find some nice boss groups out in the rock, rocky waste. Not this time, it seems. Damage. Let's see what the gloves are. Twenty three MF, not quite. And we have our fun little dark glow, which is a fun armor. We don't really care about it, but Did anyone even imagine Mass World come 20 years down the line? I don't think so. I, I mean, I kind of had accepted that we were not going to get any of that. So, you know, I also have accepted that we're not getting any updates to this game. Maybe they'll surprise us. Maybe we'll get some crazy things. Act 6, anybody? Another solo. Nah, d is here. Again, just kind of killing some things. I'll actually put some points into Bone Wall now. I feel like my corpse explosion is in a decent spot. Two other Dark Lows and Eth. I mean, it doesn't need to be Eth. It, it is an okay mercenary armor for sure. The resistance is. Like, Eth adds a little defense, but it's already pretty low defense, so. I need a key. Not a big deal. Now, if I wanted to make insight for a mercenary, what I want to do is go find an exceptional weapon with four sockets. Which means I'm either taking something like a white bill, which will get guaranteed four sockets, and larziking it, or I'm finding some other weapon and praying for four sockets using Ral and P Amethyst for socket quest. To be fair, I do have a lot of Amrins. I don't know if I have any PM at this. Two days in a row watching live, what up? Do I switch for Summoner? This is the PNB Necro, so this is the Bone Necro, I guess. After the anti balance Just found mosaic. out the Prime Sub IS available in Australia. Ooh. Congratulations on the new addition to the family. Aw, thanks, Barry. Appreciate it. Grab this waypoint. I mean, if they're gonna come in and do a balance patch, I would hope, or like updates, I would hope their next update or balance patch would be just fix mosaic. <laughs> Make mosaic not so ridiculous. It can still be really good, just like not what it is, please. Now, I actually like Players 8 down here in Nightmare, mostly because I can teleport past stuff I don't want to fight. So in Normal, I don't like it as much because I can't. But in Nightmare, we can. And then additionally, everything is lined up for you down here. You know? So, it actually works out pretty well. Mm. 
Pretty good for leveling. Like, look at this. I mean, I cannot complain one bit. We are uh, enjoying some very nice leveling here. Let's see. Another point to bone wall. It's software. Through that rage. White mummified trophy again. One of those that I am we want to pick up because you never know. Maybe it's three to bone spear. We socket it. Make ourselves a rhyme. Bingo, bingo, bongo, you're cooking. To the bone spirit. Womp, womp. Wow, that is not it. Oh, here instead. Okay. Andy and Meth keep dropping the chieftain. Which candidate can stop this? They can have my vote. <laughs> uh, I will stop that. It is Lama's promise to you. Vote Lama for all of your awesome drop needs. <laughs> Burger. Hello. Yeah, lore and stealth for helm and chest right here. Ooh, okay. To Eleven to life, but twelve to light res. I probably wouldn't keep it if it was just one or the other. But the fact that it's both has done enough for me to convince me. Twenty-nine fire res on some gloves. Again, oh my fire res is actually kind of weak right now. So I'll actually swap them in. And more vitality. And let's keep going. That's how it goes, Rag. That's the most satisfying map for Bone Spear. It really is. The Maggot Lair and Bone Spear are just like best friends. Okay. Now, you might see these zombies and go, why are they taking no damage? Well, they're taking no damage. Let me check over here really fast, actually. Because they have high, high magic resist. So don't bother trying to kill those guys. How many characters have I made in D2's history? <sighs> yeah. Thousands, tens of thousands. It's a lot. How do you decide what trinkets to keep in your, in your inventory? Like which charms, you mean? I generally aim for life, mana, or resistances on, on these sorts of characters. If it's a physical character that does physical damage, 
Then I usually want one charm with cold damage, one with poison. Um, and then like max damage and attack rating as well as the other ones that I uh, had mentioned. Life mana res. Um, so those are generally kind of what you're aiming for. And then obviously like skillers when you get there. Okay, got our staff. Just a, po I like a little bit of poison damage just to uh, keep mobs from regening. How do you stay motivated? I haven't achieved everything. Try build. Uh, I just enjoy the game. It's just a fun game. I don't know. I don't know if I have a better answer than that. Like, I like the game. And as a game designer, because I'm making my game Lama RPG, you know, I found a lot of inspiration within this game for many of the things I did. And so I, you know, I play and I'm always thinking of it in that way. It's my game being designed, exclamation mark, Lama RPG. It's gonna be no flash, all substance. The opposite of all your games today. When is it? Another alpha in a couple weeks. Llama RPG Farm to Fable is the name. Fantastic. I wish I had time to study this. Ooh, one to masteries. Wow, found a skiller. Now, Arcane Sanctuary can actually actually be dangerous. And at first you might say, wait, why can it be dangerous? Can't you just bone prison everything? And yes, you can. But the reason it can be dangerous is because the ghosts can fly over your prisons. So, I'd say be careful down here. Some, some of you may just want to teleport past everything. Some of you may want to slow play it. Some of you might want to go players one. You know, kind of do whatever you want, but just be careful. The earliest, yeah, wait, I'm actually really curious how I found that mastery GC. Was there a boss that dropped it? Fire Eye dropped it, okay. That's how. Because yes, otherwise you would only be getting it in Act 3. Act 3 Great March is the earliest place that you'll be able to find skillers. I wish I had time to Not from, you know, a, a boss. Yeah, but yeah, it was from Fire Eye himself. Second way. It's long. Let me switch player difficulty online. You cannot. I have begged them to add a way for it to happen. I guess you can have a friend join the game. This is plus is two bone spear worth for socking like I two bone spear one amp to make your white in? Yeah, for sure. Unless you just want to make a perfect white and get plus three to bone spear. But if you're just, you know, having fun in the playthrough, whatever, like this one, I just have a plus two and I'm happy enough with it. Okay, 
obviously can be a little dangerous here because these guys uh, can fly over. Oh my god, fourth way. Yeah, white bases can be traded for nice value for sure. Because of PvP. But since you can shop them, they're not also like... Crazy, crazy valuable, but you know, they're worth a decent amount still. I wish I had time to study this bizarre dimension. Mm, Alright, I guess we'll grab the experience shrine. I turn this to a bone spirit run? I mean, kinda same thing, right? Just slower. Darth, what up? Mr. Five Months over here. How's it going, bro? Very nice to see you. Now remember everybody, the order is circle, moon, square, star, double down arrow, triangle, circle over moon. So look, here we have double down arrow. You know exactly which temple to run to. Circles your furthest left. Okay. Then moon, like the uh, crescent down below. Then square. The then old sun. Arm I know Andy has negative five res, Star but sun, do all the act it. bosses have varying levels of every resistance? Uh, yes, but she's the only one that really has like negative. Uh, then the double down arrow, then the triangle, and then the, uh, circle over the Okay. Put the staff in the orifice. Make sure you're on players one, or whatever player count you want to kill on, and then you go down, and you just set up a little uh, wall. boss fights, not gonna lie on this character. I do like a rare demon hide sash. Oh, it's ethereal. Okay, it's not that great. I was gonna be real sad if it was super good. On my forearm? Wow. Well, hey, I just won this week. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and get a repair. And I like to pick up a couple of stamina before I head to Act 3. This can be nice. You can talk there, come down here, drop a TP. And just like that, give yourselves a clap. Act 2 of Nightmare is done. Get into act number three. A 
I thought I'd recommend for Hardcore Hell for Source. Blizz Fireball? Yeah, I think Blizz Fireball is what I'd recommend. I'm actually going to go down to Players 1. Just because my experience is really solid right now. Again, if you want, you can continue racking up the experience. But I'm almost level 52. This is like the most experience. Oh, oops. This is the wrong one. The most experience uh, I've ever had at this point. Impossible. For Fury, which I play through. Be a good one. Yeah, we're, just, we're just loaded right now. And there's so much experience to be gained later on in this run as well that that's why it's not that big of an issue. We have a plus seven white wand. I said, good enough. And you can just amp and corpse exploit everything. And that's the real nice thing about Players 1 as well, is it is very, very strong Corpse Explosion. I mean, ridiculously strong. What up, Ben? Let's see if we have an exit at all to the Flare Jungle. Does not seem like it. No. Impossible. And we do not get out of here, Darth. I can't carry anymore. Join my army of the dead. Llama helps drops. Ow. Arachnid mesh from F. Please stream next Terra Randy so I can finish my Grail. No. I voted today for Mr. Llama. Thank you. Did you get out and vote, Darth? No. Nine to mana. Thank you, Rag. Thank you, Missing Category. Thank you, Woodsmithing. And thank you, Darth, for the subs. Now, this is 21 cold res right here and a little MF, but 10 decks, 14 all res. I like 14 all res. That's a lot of res. That helps us out. I wrote down Llama RPG for Prez. That'll work. Thank you. And uh, two more skills. We'll go more bone walls. I, do I would actually be cool with a couple more points. Into Corpse Explosion. Your brother writes you in on the election every ballot. Oh or on the ballot every election. Well, that's very nice, Rag. I'm Mr. Lama SC and I approve that message. We got party play implemented and, and mostly working. And uh, Llama RPG, so that's that's fun. We're gonna have mining in the alpha. It's long. We're using Godot. Um, let's see what else. What else? New monsters, new areas. It's still got plenty of rough edges and things, but. 
uber bosses. We'll have some raid uber boss, you know, things later for you. But that was kind of one of the big points of needing to get all the party play stuff implemented was so that we could do, like, big raids and stuff later. On top of just having it where you can go play with your friends, you can encounter multiple monsters. Grab a waypoint. We're not interested in the Project Diablo season. When did it? It 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 opened up like three weeks ago, right? A worthless statue. I was having my baby. Wait, no. What? Uh, yeah, I had my baby. So I was I wasn't streaming. It opened on the 25th, I think. Now are we having your baby? Uh, four more months. Darth Micro sub baby. Doesn't the stork drop off babies? Well, yeah. I can. But you still gotta like place the order and be home for the delivery and stuff. Because they can't just drop it at the door, you know. You have to be home to sign for your package. Do you tip the stork? It's ridiculous nowadays. The stork came, dropped my baby off. This is a powerful weapon. Right? Perhaps Ormus can tell me more. I'm like, okay, cool, thanks, Mr. Stork. He's hanging around the front door. He's kinda like, you know, fiddling with his feathered wings. Just uh, rocking back and forth a little bit. I'm like, what? I was like, hey man, you know, kind of flew a long way to get here. All right, cool. New baby cost a few thousand. Thanks. Spend three, four grand on this new baby. Dude wants a couple hundred bucks. Like, you for real? Insane. Just insane. He said, hey, I got it to a month early. So like, but she's not wrong. Yeah, he did deliver it ahead of schedule. Have a little something, you know, for the effort. So I leaned in and whispered in his ear, on your deathbed, you will find true happiness and peace. So he's got that going for him, you know, which is nice. It's crazy how one day you're just a guy and the next you're a dad. No, right? How's that, Strix? How's the sleep cycle going? You know, I don't want to jinx it, but it's going all right. All right, we are now in the Lower Kuros, one of our favorite places for all sorts of things. If you just want to pick up a lot of gold, if you're looking for gems, jewels, charms, all the good, this is a great place to find it. You can just get this waypoint, run around on Players 8, and pop everything here. Additionally, if you're looking for a white bill, that's probably one of my favorite places to find the bill, and then I take the bill, socket quest it, and make insight out of it. So I can have that for my mercenary. So. Just uh, some food for thought.
Now, once you've done that, Curse Bazaar, we can look for the temple that's facing to the bottom left, top right, as such. And we can head in here. And pop some dudes. This is where Serena is. So we can get Lame Essence Tome. Which again, on this character, five more stats, pretty nice. We can also go find the waypoint because we still need to do the player dungeon. Look around for that. Yeah, we've got them retro. Rare jewel back there. Eh. Nothing I really care to put it in. Big money right there. 30 to life. That's three okay charms. I'll probably drop the 33 mana charm, actually. Because I feel like my mana is now decent enough. And we can just continue forward here to the flare jungle. Would I craft hustle early on? Oh yeah, hustle is fantastic. Now, on this character, you know, it's okay. I wouldn't really want to lose all the FCR from stealth. But it'd still be, like, fine. Just because that's so much faster on walk. But on, you know, like, melee characters and bosons and things, it's very nice. Where have I been? You haven't seen me in a while. Uh, had another baby. So... We're, we had a little bit of a, a break for baby. A little bit of paternity leave that I took. And now we're easing back into it all. I mean, bought another baby. Well, that's what they mean when you say had. Okay, nothing good on that. Go ahead and turn this in. And turn here. Thank you. Once the book we'll get our its stats and our potion. Delve into its secrets. And more vitality. How's it going? What level should I gamble for gold? I believe level 11 is the best level to gamble for it. I have a video called like Gamble for Goal. Just look up Gamble for Goal, Mr. Lamessi on YouTube. See if that uh, says, but I'm pretty sure it is 11. Memory serves me correct. But I have dad brain right now, so. No, it's not scripted, Juris. Just, just how it happens. Just how it happens.
feel like it's right here. Just... Okay, I guess not. Seemed like it was going to be. So probably this will go down again and have the chest. No. Is it going to be in the center, possibly? It's going to be in the center. Lovely. Unfortunate. Let's go repair our staff. Now, something that you can actually do to repair your staff as well is you grab an ort rune, you grab a chipped gem, and you put them in there, and it gives all the charges her back. Back. If you just do an ort rune, it just repairs the item durability, but it does not give you the charges repair. So you need that chip gem as well. So that's an easy way to save yourself, you know, seventy-six thousand or whatever there. Grab the heart. Will not repair ethereal items now. I'll check out this Grim Helm. Bonus AR, dual rent. It's kind of fun. Oops. Alright, let's go to the Travancle. Again, I'm just rocking P1 right now. I'm 52, closing in on 53. I'm fine. I could. Again, be doing, uh, you know, both if I want, right? I, I could be leveling tons, remaining on players 8, and be like level 58 or something right now. And just have 70 by the end of Nightmare and still be fine and it'd be totally fine. So, like, feel free to spend that time if you want to. Feel free to spend that time doing so. And we can also grab the waypoint here if we want. Nightmare Mephisto is a pretty solid place to farm. And this is a pretty good boss killer. We also have that gold dagger as well. Um, so I could very easily see myself, you know, again, if I'm really wanting to take some time with this, I could spend a few hours at farming here and find a lot of really good items here. Aw, oh, thanks, Tommy. I don't run ads, though, so... But it does help anyways, just for, you know, sponsors and whatever things. That was good. Okay, Tommy. Come on. So, nice and easy kill. And boom. As simple Good as that. Fisto. Give my oh regards my to the abyss. Yo, Lamu, are there any builds that uses skillers from multiple trees? I feel like every build that uses skillers only uses them from one of the trees. Nah. Only one of the trees. It'd be cool if there was like a multi-tree build like that more. You could maybe say like cold fire source, you know, could use if you're like blizz and fireball, you could use them from each or something. Meteor, you could use them from each. 
but you generally have a, this is my main damage, this is my side damage, so you want to buff the main damage more. Get a Sunder Call today, that also works. Uh, make sure we're on players one here because we want to find and kill Isual. You can also do Radiment if you would like. Again, more skill points on this character is always welcome. So I believe we have normal and Nightmare Radiment available. I think we might also have Nightmare Den available to us. We have a lot of uh, skill points kind of available here. What I should actually be doing is corpse exploding. So I'm just going to grab Isual and drag him into the middle of a pack. We're going to prison everything up. And we'll just do some corpse explosions. put another point into Club's Explosion, because again, I want it to be a little bit bigger. The SC in my name is for StarCraft, because I said, when I grow up, I'm going to be a professional StarCraft streamer. Almost nailed it. Missed it by that much. The city of the darned. And see where our waypoint is. That build did it make, yep. Almost got the name right. Mr. Llama D2. So close. The mercenary does not get life skill off Mephisto. Mephisto just does so much damage. So he can one shot. Here we go. And let's go get our plus skills for even more corpse explosion. Ah, you live in South Carolina. Yes, it is not for South Carolina. More vitality. For stats, we'll pretty much just be vitality for the rest of the run, so... You can just uh, continue on that. SC's for softcore. You think I'm into softcore? No, no, no. I do hardcore plenty of the time. What am I planning on growing up? Come on. Why you gotta be like that, Dad? What do we need? More gold, more repairs. Aww, GT Papa. Congrats. Can I ask how long and pricey the adoption process was for a five month old? Also, did you go through foster system or a private? You don't have to share any of that, I'm just curious.
Demonite Sash, we could potentially go and view. If we want. I agree. Am I trying to put children up for adoption? No, I'm... Uh, adopting is an idea for the future that we have. So, something you can always do that's really helpful for this character is you can always build, like, body piles, essentially, and then just bring monsters over the body piles. It's not great, because they're kind of tucked back there. We can see if we can get... There we go. And then you just kind of pop everything. And it's great. Darn. Trash. Took about two years paperwork and searching. Each kid was about 50k. Wow. And that was through private. Then I assume. I can't carry anymore. Well, good luck. I hope you got a good one. Is that is that what? People say to people who adopted a... At least you got to pick yours. Mm, still nothing good on these gloves. I don't know. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I haven't met many people that I've adopted. I don't know what the thing to say is. Thank you for your service? Congrats, though. there, but it's nice that they're able to find a, a way to... Boom! Just like that, act for Dunzo! Thirty-five light res is nice. Jewels are always like cool to see, but rarely ever anything good. Oh, it's actually pretty nice. No, it's okay. Nine max, eighteen ED. Could use it on a physical character. Ooh, now that is nice for a mercenary. A little tri res. Again, without any uh, of the other goodies, though, it does end up falling a little short. Join my army of the dead. Give us the clap. We need life steal. Just like that, congratulations though, you are done with Act 4.
Let's drop these, move these over. I'm just saying it is pretty nice. So act five, again, I'm 53. I've said it many times, but I'll say it again. I, I am more than comfortable with my level with where I'm at right now. I have so much experience. If you are 53 right now, honestly, you should probably spend a little more time leveling. It's just, it's nice to do. So, highly recommend. And one of my favorite places to level, like you can't, you can level a lot of places with this character. Yo, Lalo, I picked up a Neth skin of the Flayed One the other day, and it looks like it would make sense for a mercenary. Is it worth it to up this thing, or is it probably just bad anyways? Yeah. Not really worth it. Or repair. So, one of my favorite places, of course, to farm, though, is right here at Eldritch. You can farm him easily up to 70. It's on higher player counts there. Kill a couple, pop them. Rinse and repeat. Great place to pick up levels super, super easily. You can save the barbs if you want. Again, another Ral or Tal room, which is nice because that's an Ort and a third. And like I said before, the Ort runes are worth charges. So those are, uh, they can save you like every Ort rune saves you 76,000 gold or whatever, which isn't bad. Grab this waypoint here. It's worth putting points in a bone spirit. So bone spear is going to be better with the exception of your single target. So, you, you know, you'll use bone spirit for like, if you're just wanting to fight Madoc alone or if you're fighting Bale or whatever. But I'd rather put the points into bone wall because bone wall is increasing my bone armor as well. And it's increasing the strength of my bone prisons. So I'm really getting a lot more value there. Both, you know, both bone spirit and, and that are synergies, or they're both synergies for bone spear and bone spirit, but you know, bone wall, I just I just prefer. I like having more uh, more life here, right? Because this bone armor absorbs 500 damage. Like, look at my life right now. Impossible. What am I? What have I become with my life? Please tell me. Um, no, but if you look, if you look at my life, seven eighteen, I actually have twelve hundred life if you count the bone armor. Now, obviously, that isn't always the case. Because if I'm hit with purely elemental damage or whatever, then it's not. But in all the times that I'm not, let me get down to players one. In all the times I am not, it's really, really nice to have. So you can assume you're gonna take at least 500 physical damage in most the so. most of the times unless you're getting like just blasted by souls so the bone armor just does super nicely with that and we're gonna go to the crystalline passage because I can't we do want to get 10 all res from the frozen river dang nice skippy Another hell rune. Let's 
Let's go home. You found two mangs, but Tyrells is your unicorn? I mean, it makes sense. Tyrells is disgusting to find. Countess dropped it? That's wild. Sound effects in this game are perfect. They are quite, quite good. Uh, I'll go ahead and drop that. We're not going to use that anymore. Alright, let's continue Frozen Tundra. So we got our 10 all res. Just another nice little boost. Puts us at almost max res for all three in Nightmare. And we'll be positive. We'll have 11, 37, 30 in Hell. Which is really nice. Let's go find our ancients. Hmm. Not done that way. Can Bonecker do any Uber fights? I believe you can get him to do Ubers. Weird dead ends I'm running into. Afternoon. Oh yeah, so good, Skippy. Impossible. All right, Let's see what we get here. Oh. Perfect. Okay, so we already talked about how you can cheese uh, the ancients. ancients here in. Normal. You can also cheese them in Nightmare in Hell in that same way, or if you just want to not have to do like glitchy cheese, you can literally just cheese them through these means. Now, Talik is going to whirlwind through. Korlik will leap attack through if he sees you. Or, I mean, if he's like close enough to you, I should say, not sees you. Make sure your player's on, by the way. Is it with the bone spear necker? Or bone prison? Like, we can do ubers with any class, but I'm just, you know, I'd be using, like, revives and thorns, honestly. Or just revives and telly stomping with them. So right here, Korlik is not gonna jump us. Finding your YouTube stream really sucks. It's just randomly my subscribe stuff. Yeah, YouTube does a very bad job with live stream, like, to find it. I don't know why it's so bad. We'll go back to Bonewall here. Bone Prison doesn't have damage. Ooh, hello. Whoa! Did not expect that. Hmm. I was about to use a rejuve and I was like, nah, I'll be okay. I was not okay. Oh, I, there's unholy chargers, and they all charge me at once. Okay. I thought it was, like, the zealots or something. Like, that's kind of a weird thing to do so much damage. Okay. Anyways... Let us continue our tellies. <laughs> and another 
another point to bow and wall. Can be good to grab the waypoint here if you want. So, I like to grab it just for safety. Wow. Some of the failed tellies. Head back here, pick these up, grab this, grab this, talk to her. And obviously I am just kind of blitzing through a little bit more right now. You can, I urge you to go at your own pace and not just like mass telly like crazy through all of it. But. One, I'm a high enough level, so I feel totally great about my level here. I don't need to stop and kill all this stuff. And two, we're a little past data clock, so I'm trying to just get past Nightmare here. We're level 55 going into hell. That is more than plenty to me. I would be happy going into hell at level, like, 47, personally. Now, for you, I would say this is probably the minimum level I would recommend going to hell for the more average player. Um, yeah, I think I think this would, I would say at least be 60 generally. Now, it's not crazy important that we uh, corpse split everything and have it all perfect in, in this. But that is how I would want to do it in hell. That's the exact method I would want to do. First you round everybody up, then you amp damage everybody. Then you corpse explode as, as soon as the skellies start walking away and you want to get all the unravelers as a part of it. Huh. <laughs> Thanks, Urkan. 60, try 75 for hardcore. Yeah, I'm saying if you're like softcore and chillin', 60's the minimum. If you're hardcore or if you're, you know, not as great of a player, which is totally fine, it's not like it matters, not a contest, then I would say, yeah, get into the 70s before you go to hell. Just, you can spend time, and this is honestly one of my favorite characters for spending that time. Um, mainly because, oh jeez, Nidora, he can kill everything super easily. He's just like really, really strong. So you don't have to worry on this guy. Um, cause you can just go in, you can fight all of Bale's waves. You can go kill all of the stuff in the Chaos Sanctuary. Then you can go to hell. You can just bow and prison everything and kill everything and it's fantastic. Make sure you are players one before you jump in here. And we could even do higher player counts as well for the Bale waves, right? Yeah, if it wasn't at a clock, we probably would. And then we're just spearing away. Remember, the clone is the one that cannot teleport. Feels like it by now. Thanks for doing the updated playthrough guides. Of course, thank you, Barnes. I do wish that we could have Spear split into like three Spears at level 20 or something. So in target farming the rates and it's taking longer than expected, then I realize you were essentially target farming Mang Songs forever. How long was it the last item on her grail list? A couple of years, it was horrible. Gold Dagger for the kill? Sure, why not? Gold dagger for the kill. There's at least a good year. The 
Big money, no whammies. Fight for Magi. Well, we did talk about light gauntlets before. Matrix! 20 FCR, which is really nice. And plus one to fire skills, which is a sneaky boost to corpse explosion. So, uh, pretty happy with it. Also, more FCR if we want over here, and five mana per kill. So, while the Eyeless is actually really nice, but I will want my resistances later on. So, we do lose 29% fire res for these gloves. And whenever that happens, you always want to check your breakpoints. So, that we're at 75 FCR now, so it's actually perfect that we have this uh, because. We were, uh, 75 gets us to the next breakpoint. Right? So we have Necromancer. Breakpoints. You can always go take a look. Wrong one. You say Necromancer. Casting frames. Human form. 30, 48, 75, 125. So that 25 FCR is actually perfect in that it brings us up from 55 to 75. We get another break point on it. We get that plus one skill. Really nice. So we will go ahead and uh, use the Mage Fist. We'll put the points here. We'll put one more point in Bone Wall. And we'll leave it at that. That is part nightmare. Good job, everybody. Here is our ending gear. We have this beautiful white wand, lore, stealth, 14 all res, ancient's pledge. Just some little boots we gambled. Not bad with the res. Wish they had more FRW. 10 FCR ring with 7 light res. A little bit of life on this. A little bit of mana and cold res here. And mage fist. And then a couple of nice charms. Nothing like amazing, but, you know, enough to add a little bit and improve so mwah, gg thank you guys uh don't forget to like and subscribe youtube feel free to farm elsewhere and get yourself to level 70 or wherever you want before we get into hell and i'll see you guys in the next video peace